For the sake of my sister, I will hear what you have come to say. But I guarantee no more. Now speak. We know of these stones. And the fact that you would bring them here puts all of Adeline in jeopardy. Such recklessness is typical of your kind. That time has long since passed. We have been hunted by humans for centuries. The scars from our war with the mutants are still fresh. The only allies we have left dwell within this city. The Inhumans hide from no one. Our removal from Earth was a strategic maneuver for the protection of our people. I... cannot. Adelon may be among the stars now, but Earth will always be our home. I believe my king would agree. Our cousin Gorgon will escort you to the lab. has been gravely wounded. You must attend to him immediately. I'll see what I can do, Your Majesty. There you go, big guy. This should stop the bleeding. Before you know it, you'll be back on your feet. Oh, hooves. Some sort of amber. Intriguing. I don't believe we've had the pleasure, young man. Huh? Oh. Few have. Thane came to us from the inhuman colony of Orlon, seeking sanctuary. Sanctuary? Hmm. From what, pray tell? Not what. But rather, who? My father. Turns out he's a maniacal alien warlord bent on universal domination. And for some reason, he really wants me dead. His name is Thanos. If you're lucky, you've never heard of him. Luck hasn't exactly been on our side today, my boy. But I have a feeling that may be about to change. How are you doing? Because I'm currently hanging out on the moon with the inhuman royal family, and I'm totally trying not to freak out. Well, yeah, but I'm an inhuman who lives in Jersey City. These are inhumans who live on the moon. There's a big difference. Not that I know of. 
But I do have their poster on my bedroom wall. Because I have school and the commute from the moon to Jersey kind of stinks. Ooh, unless they're willing to loan me Lockjaw on weekdays. I'll get right on it. You know, once our current universe-shattering dilemma is all wrapped up. Sorry about all the craziness here. Family, am I right? They're a bit intense, but they mean well. Blackbolt and Medusa do whatever it takes to keep Adelan safe. Even if it means they sometimes forget about everyone else. I didn't really. Sure, I may be a bit more willing to reach out and help my fellow heroes, but at the end of the day, I'm still an Inhuman. We'll always stand together. Yeah, well, there is that. My deepest apologies. Adalon was built to be a safe haven. Alpha Primitives. They were a subclass of the inhuman race, performing labor and other menial tasks. That is a harsh way of putting it. The Alpha Primitives merely do what they were designed to do. I have my suspicions, but I dare not believe them. Salutations, my tenacious teammate. Merely a hypothesis, but having the progeny of our nemesis as an ally could prove advantageous. Indeed. In fact, it might become more beneficial in our quest than you can currently comprehend. Of course, I will need to run an in-depth analysis. Fear not. I once collaborated with the Inhumans to evaluate the effects of their Terrigen Mist on my fellow mutants. Much of my equipment is still here in Atalan. Performing scientific studies on the moon is at work. It's my furry blue dream come true. Well, do you have something to say? I do not. Despite popular belief, Thanos is not my true father. He slaughtered my species and took me from my homeworld, kicking and screaming. As he did to all his so-called children, myself and Nebula included. Some of his experiments were clearly more successful than others. No, I've never seen him before, but I have heard whispers of one true heir. Whispers Thanos himself desperately sought to silence. Thanos worships death. To him, creating life is not an honor. It is an insult to his very nature. You have no idea, but you will soon enough. How can I help you? So I'm told. I've never actually met him, and I can't say I'm too upset about that fact, seeing that he tried to have me killed as soon as he found out about me. A bit of both. My mother was an inhuman from the lost city of Orlon. After the Black Order decimated our colony to get to me, I had no choice but to flee here. Only legends, and none of them end well. If my father wants them so badly though, I've got to believe some of them are true. Let's hope so. Until then, I have a patient to tend to. Where am I? Somewhere safe. Now try to rest and... No. Nowhere in Batalan is safe. I remember now. He's lost his twisted mind. Again! Oh, come now, cousin. <laughs> Is that any way to talk about the new king of the Inhumans? <laughs> I use my 
hammer to shield Gorgon from further damage. You focus on the Alpha Primitives. I should have known you were behind this, Maximus. Only you would dare betray our people. I am nothing if not predictable. Isn't that right, brother? Ah, the silent treatment, as always. But I'll give you something to talk about. Just you wait. <laughs> Imagination. It is time that someone with true vision took the throne. <laughs> the Inhumans are the closest thing to a family I have now. I'm not a fighter, but I guess this is my battle. <laughs> This isn't the first time Maximus has tried to claim the throne from his brother. Not even close. The guy's a brilliant inventor, but he's never been quite right in the head. Still, mad or not, he is family. We refuse to give up on him, even if he refuses to change his ways. <laughs> Adorable. 
is about to expire. Over here. I can generate enough amber to protect you. Stay close to me. <laughs>
spectacular, huh? He has proven himself, at least for now. If Thanos' blood truly runs through his veins, we would be wise to keep a close eye on him. No. And that may be one of the few reasons I'm still alive. Before you say anything, just a quick reminder. Maximus is only related to me through marriage. Now you know why I was back on Earth with you guys when all of this went down. I can't speak for the rest of my family, but I'll be with you until the end. Dear Mrs. Wilson, please excuse Kamala from her AP English homework. She was busy stopping a mad king from overthrowing a moon city. But I'm starting to learn that there are more important things in life than perfect grades. Only my parents. Even if existence ends, they'll still find a way to ground me. Fascinated to find out what I formulated, friend? I scrutinized a sample of the amber that Thane generated to seal Gorgon's wounds earlier. Not only is it seemingly impenetrable once it encases an object, it also suspends the very laws of physics themselves. Anything trapped inside essentially becomes frozen in time. Not just the artifact itself, mind you, but any energy it generates, no matter how formidable. Precisely. If Thane could help to entrap the final stone as well, we might yet keep them away from his dearest daddy. At least until we can devise a more permanent solution. After the excruciating events we've just endured, how could he possibly resist? The Kingdom of Adelon is in your debt. But Maximus was our problem to deal with, not yours. I suppose not. Yet we were... less than hospitable upon your arrival. You owed us nothing. Truth told, we Inhumans never ask to be heroes. When we fight, it is for the safety of our people and nothing more. I think I've got a lead on the final Infinity Stone. In safe hands, at least for the moment. I just picked up a transmission on the Avengers' priority frequency. Apparently, Modok recovered the Soul Stone while we were off-world. You're right. Fortunately, the Winter Soldier was on an undercover mission deep within the ranks of AIM. He secured the stone and is heading off the grid. I think so. As long as Lockjaw is ready for a nice long walk. What can I do for you? Maybe. But if the Black Order is out there searching for it, having me on your side might put you in even more danger. I can't take that chance. Well, when you put it that way... Right. No pressure. This is Winter Soldier, broadcasting on the Avengers Emergency Frequency. Again. This is Winter Soldier, broadcasting on the Avengers Emergency Frequency. Again. If anyone is listening out there, my mission to infiltrate AIM was a success. At 
least until Modok and his nerd squad somehow recovered a bona fide Infinity Stone. I wasn't about to wait around and find out what they planned to do with it. So I blew my cover and grabbed their rock. I'm approaching a secure location with a stone in hand, but it won't take long for those eggheads to figure out where I'm headed and try to take it back. So, if you can hear this, Avengers, lock on to these coordinates and swing on by. It'd be a shame to be stuck in paradise all alone. These are the coordinates Bucky transmitted. So, where is he? Can I help you, soldier? Back on Earth, in the African nation of Wakanda, thanks to our pal Lockjaw. It's a risk we have to take if we want to recover the final Infinity Stone before the Black Order. Good question. He should have landed nearby, unless something forced him to change his plans. Hey, got something on your mind? Of course. But Bucky's one of the few heroes tough enough to wield Cap's shield. Other than me, that is. He can handle himself just fine even when things go south. I've got a psychic rapport with birds, and lucky for us, this jungle is full of them. I'm hearing a lot of chatter coming from the pathway to Birninzana, the Wakandan capital city. My feathered friends have never led me wrong before. Earth, I wasn't sure I'd ever come back. Of course. While I appreciate the Inhumans' hospitality, the moon isn't exactly the warmest of places. There's a fine line between a safe haven and a prison. I'm worried about that no matter where I am. There's only one way to make those nightmares end. We have to stop Thanos for good. I hope so. I've got the other five contained, at least for now. But I won't be able to hold them forever. You lead the way. I'll gladly follow. We've got company. A must have followed Bucky here.
Take it. You're getting close to another one of those rips. <laughs> 